and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some sit back burn. That's right, that's going to be our next deck for Meme Tier Tuesday <laughs> this week. Um, this is a deck we played a while ago, I don't know, a month, month and a half ago or something like that that was um, pretty fun. That basically the point of this deck is just kind of sit back and watch your opponent burn with City Breaker and playing City Breaker in a burn deck. We just got a new addition to this deck also where we can um, sit back with Jack the Winner now being able to have our round start create a fleeting sleep with the fishes in hand. This could work well with City Breaker having all the health. Um, so we can just use City Breaker to do damage, Jack the Winner, make those uh, sleep with the fishes. Of course, we also have Leviathan, the round start does damage. And so that's what we're doing, just round start, deal damage to the opponent until they die. We also have like Monkey Idol that kind of sits back and makes some Powder Monkeys. Um, and then the, the Powder Monkeys, you know, we can attack with them and, and um, they will deal Nexus damage whenever they die as well. And then, you know, we just got like a lot of other aggressive stuff because we are a burn deck. Um, but then for our, you know, after we get our fast start in, then our top end, we just sit back and watch them burn. Leviathan, City Breaker, Jack the Winner, that kind of stuff. So that's our deck, our sit back burn deck. We're going to go play five games with it. We'll see how it does. We're just playing in normal because it is um, meme tier Tuesday. So we're just playing in, in normal. No, no, Nexus Healing doesn't just auto win against us because because this is just burn turn after turn after turn with City Breaker, Leviathan, and those kind of cards. Uh, yeah, it's not like just... These aren't just like one-time burn spells that uh, just do damage for a little bit. All right, Twisted Fate Fizz. All right, we're going to keep all of these. So definitely keeping City Breaker. That's what our deck is built around. I'm not going to mulligan City Breaker. That's the rules. And uh, and so then we already have we have turn two Disciple, turn three Demolitionist, turn four City Breaker. Then might as well just keep Swain on turn five at that point. It's not a one drop. But we would not have drawn a one drop anyway. And we're going to have our City Breaker sit back and level up our Swain for us. Treasures of the ages. Yeah, we got about one month until new cards already. It's pretty awesome getting new cards every uh, two months now. For the glory of Noxus. You know, we just got Targon. And it's not going to be long until we get, get more stuff. No, Legion Grenadier is awesome. Especially at one mana. Wish we had, wish we had another mana where I could have like City Breaker plus... Death's Hand. I mean, I guess we could play Monkey Idol on Death's Hand. Maybe that's the thing to do to be leveling up our Swain. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Eyes open. Maybe that's the thing to do. I like City Breaker a lot, but just to be able to double spell, that will level up our Swain faster. I guess the same speed. Looks like trouble. Let's get a good look at you. There's a good chance that if I try targeting Fizz, that they will take it, you know, take it out. Currently, don't have anything that will block Swain. Lead us to victory, Grand General. I mean, the the current meta is pretty good. I mean, you can play lots of different stuff. Like, there's you know, it's not just like you got to play this one certain deck. So that's good. There's a lot of different variety of decks not that are doing well. Also, <laughs> all right. So this thing gets to block Swain. I think I still attack and just have them block and turn Swain into a three-three. I think that's worth it. Oh. 
six mana again is awkward with wanting City Breaker and Noxious Fervor. Oh yeah, Monkey Idol does a great job leveling up your Swain too, by the way, because the Monkey Idol does two to itself, so that's non-combat damage that it's dealing. So that levels up Swain. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, taking two. Courage is useless against a well-aimed shot. So now, City Breaker will help thing things get stunned. So even if they play like a three-power unit here, it will just beginning a turn be stunned because of City Breaker. Yeah, so we know we know next set we're going to get three champions. We know one's going to be Targon. And then the other two are going to be either, you know, like a combination of Demacia, Noxus, Bilgewater, Shadow Isles. Not, sh no, wait, not Shadow Isles. No, not Shadow Isles. Yeah, Shadow Isles already got Nocturne. Um, what's the other one then? PNZ, yeah, Piltover and Zon, yeah. Yeah, PNZ. Hopefully a new PNZ champion. PNZ could use some some help. Hopefully Demacia and PNZ. Not Noxus and Bilgewater. Noxus and Bilgewater are already awesome. And then they, they still get two new champions coming. Ugh. <laughs> that was the most terrible make it rain you've ever seen. Yeah, that was not a good one. Not a good one. Such little lies. Pledge of perish. All right, going to need to Noxion Fervor the Twisted Fate to kill that thing. We're just going to let damage happen right now. This would put him down to four. All right, maybe we just Noxion Fervor upstairs. I'm really surprised they're just letting all this damage happen. Don't really understand why, like, some of these 2-1s or 1-2 wasn't blocking, like... Or do they just disconnect and that's why they didn't block? That could be it, too. Alright, they're back. They have a lot of mana here. I don't have to throw the Noxion Fervor. In right now. All right, we'll do it now. Victory. We still have Riptide Rex next turn, also. All right, well that's probably game. Oh yeah, with okay, yeah, with Fizz. Okay, yeah, no, never mind. I was gonna say with Fizz leveling up, aren't we just gonna stun that? But no, never mind. Yodel Grifter with the allegiance gives them two things that we've done over Fizz now. Eyes open. So yeah, that was my Mega Rain they just stole. Alright, anyway, we're gonna be 1-0. Oh. Sit back, burn. <laughs> yeah, build your own Leviathan. If, if you break three cities, you have a Leviathan. I will break it. My conflict and only one way. Yeah, I don't understand the notch blocking and then just yeah, the not blocking didn't make any sense. Alright, let's get a lower hand. There we go. Lower to the ground a little bit. <clears throat> Against Ash Sejuani. I mean, this still isn't perfect. Yeah, this is definitely not perfect. I have my orders. In position. 
So I'm worried about Ice Veil Archer. I play Legion Grenadier, they play Ice Veil Archer, and then Frostbite something, then I don't get a good attack. I do not like this Triparian Glory Seeker. That card is good against Monkey Idol. Alright, no Ice Veil Archer. I'll just pass. Never see it coming behind you. So I can just use the death sand after attacking here. Damn it. What did you catch? Oh come on, first card. Enraged Yeti. Patience. Still have elixir of iron mana up. Faster than my arrow? I think not. If they don't break, they'll burn. For the glory of Noxus. I'll cut them apart. <clears throat> yeah, I admit that playing you zero attack mine. things against Trifarian Glory Seeker, not the best plan. Routes closed. Not sure if the Grenadier should just be blocking the Enraged Yeti or not. Good, I'm glad we didn't have to use the other death sand. Yeah, I guess I probably should have just blocked the 5-5. Victory at any cost! Tread carefully. Alright, we're gonna just try to finish them out with the monkeys. And the death sand. Sit back. Rude. Winter, take you. There's that ice filler, archer. All right, hopefully we don't die this turn. Ooh, that could be a good draw. Stand Where are we at? We're at two. That's good. So they kind of, they went to harsh winds. Um. I don't feel like I have to cast this Nocturne Fervor right now. They could just respond with another another calling strike. I can just wait. This powder monkey should just kill them. Powder monkey attacking for two. Taking it. There we go. GG's. Yep. Just sit back. <laughs> Don't need a noxion fervor. Just sit back. Yeah, three monkey idols and um, and the city breaker. So we just had our, our four things that just sat back and burned them. Good to keep in that transfusion. This again is the, the awkward one too. We don't have to spend the mana on turn two, though. We can just wait and be able to keep that for whatever spell we get with Sprayfin. I have my orders. Grenadier. They'll never see it coming. This time we didn't draw the Legion Grenadier. Uh, it's Draven time. So I think we know what they're going to be playing on turn three. Yep. 
Dr. Avon. Me too, kiddo. Me too. All right, time for us to get some powder monkeys. Yeah, man. I feel like my saboteur should just block the Draven's fan, the big Draven's biggest fan, because I kind of want the want the game to go a little bit longer with us having City Breaker, Leviathan, that kind of stuff. All right, let's see. So we can City Breaker or Zap Spray Fin. Both of those sound pretty enticing. Keep up, keep up. I know we're a city breaker deck, but I, I kind of feel like going spray fin works well with the elusive. Stand firm. Wow. Darn. Well, we got our eight mana cards. Sure. Harden scales. Get him, City Breaker. Axes coming right up. No, Challenger. It's not cool. They can still kill my City Breaker using some spinning axes and stuff like that. Or Elixir of Wrath. All right, City Breaker down. That's sad. Let's do this. Don't test me. City Breaker, yeah, did eat a good amount of resources. I won't stand by. Lee has told me about you. Only the bad parts are true. Noxion Fervor would probably be my best draw. Like something that costs three mana, like Noxion Fervor, Death Sand, that kind of stuff. Yeah, there we go. Jack the winner. That's a winner. We didn't even get to use our Demolitionist yet. Probably shouldn't be mulliganing City Breaker, but we just gotta have earlier stuff. Okay, good. We got City Breaker back. Rewarded. Leona Diana. It's our first time seeing the spider, the precious pet, um, on turn one, that is. So they're going to be doing, you know, like this deck's going to be doing a whole bunch of invoking. Oh man, they just discarded star shaping. Wow. If only they knew my deck. They discarded star shaping. That's probably the best card in their hand. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. They probably just discarded the best card they have. Oh, I should just play Mega Rain here, shouldn't I? Find your own light within the darkness. Yeah, I should play Mega Rain right there. Cherish, moon sister. Like this. Mm -hmm. I will be heard. All right, rewarded. Or not punished, I guess. Moonlight guide me. Never mind, punish, because that was a Diana's Pale Cascade, so they would not have had Pale Cascade without me doing that. Without me waiting and letting them play Diana first. All right, we got all our top ends. So hopefully it's a longer game that we just have time to play top end cards. Daylight. 
light fades and dusk suits. As the moon rises, quiet reflection begins. So we're currently at six. That's going to be seven, eight, nine. The powder monkey dying is going to be a tenth. For Swain leveling up. Round start, City Breaker will be 11. I think I'm just going to go Jack the Winner. To start with. Sunlight fades behind the moon. Right, so it does level up Diana, but Diana still doesn't have Challenger this turn. But Diana will start having Challenger. Which obviously is very bad for my City Breaker. They're already going to kill this Monkey Idol here with the Serpent. Presumably. Oh no, they're just making... Okay. Okay. Um, that also makes sense. Put me down to four. Lock the doors. All right, so Swain's leveled up. Because they didn't kill the monkey idol. If they would have killed the monkey idol, Swain would not be leveled up. Vision to see what others cannot. Clad in shining sunlight. So this stuns the 5-5 five five and the 3-6. Fighting's a bloody business. We will not suffer unbelievers. All right, gives him another thing that can block. Any challenges? Who locks that on, eh? The guilty will bear. Get to just block with that thing. All right, get two things off the board. That's good. So the five five is going to be stunned. Round start. Fortunately, it's going to be turn 7. You know, definitely wish it was going to be turn 8. With this Riptide Rex. Alright, stunning that thing. And getting a blocker out. No more hiding. Okay. You can block here. Kind of want Swain to block here. Alright, sweet. My comfort and only one way. So y'all know what that means? That whenever we are 4-0 in meme tier in normal, we go take it over to ranked to see if we can finish out the 5-0 with a game in Ranked. Uh, we won't be playing any Lee Sin today. You see this is our schedule over on the left. We got Powder Yetis and then Lulu the winner of next. So actually a couple of more Jack the winner type decks. Let's start Grenadier, Monkey Idol. I want to find a one drop. Right, I wanted to find a one drop with having the attack token on turn one, so I wanted to mulligan a couple of cards. Ah, need to mulligan one more. Should have mulligan like the monkey idol too, I guess. Okay, so I played the I played my monkey idol first because sometimes, like if. Unfortunately, they had the 04. If they would have had Catalyst of Aeons, a lot of times they just wait, they just pass priority back to you. And <clears throat> they, you know, they would have had me attack with the Legion Grenadier first, and then Catalyst, and then. Um... And then they would play their Catalyst of Aeons, so I was going to be able to just pass priority. 
All right, gonna keep the three spell mana. To be able to play Fervor and Death Sand. Who's gonna get in my way? Um, definitely considering going like fervor on the O4 and then death handing it. Maybe just nothing. Maybe just nothing. I want to kill this weirding stones. Yeah, I guess going upstairs wouldn't do anything because they would heal their nexus again. Um. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. The door. That's a pretty awesome card to grab with Unspeakable Horror. For the thrill of battle. Man, what a what a game for them. Do you need to level up the Swain? By my hand, the Noxus rise. Attack! So it's at seven right now. Going sleep with the fishes on the three ones, so that'll be five total damage. <clears throat> so that will level up Swain. Definitely want to stun these things. See, so nine mana's ruination mana. Things up bloody business. They had it. Okay. So is it better to do six damage to them or to kill Trendomir? It's probably better to kill Trendomir. Right? Like I probably have Patience is a tactician. I'm probably gonna have more turn more time if I kill Trendomir. I don't know. I guess it's only so it's four damage to them. So it's only it's only an extra three damage because yeah they they take the one anyway. So it's only an extra three damage to, to have Trindamir dead. That's got to be worth three damage. Yeah, it's got to be worth three damage, right? Yeah, playing around Atrocity for the first time ever. This was all from that one unspeakable horror. I'll try anyone one. Ice to me. Huh. Keep up, keep up. And that one unspeakable horror has done so much. All right, so that puts me to five. Let's see what you can do. Look what you did. All right, staying at nine. Go right to combat with the two spray fins. And I have the perfect amount of mana to cast both Riptide Rex and Noxion Fervor. I hope it's like Grasp the Undying that we get to counter with this and not Withering Whale. No. Keep them from getting that extra 1-1 one, one and gaining one life. Wow, 
Wow. <laughs> All right, not the best. Riptide Rex. Not the best Riptide Rex at all. All right, another Noxion Fervor. This is usually the best time to draw the one drops, right? Like turn nine, turn ten. That, that's when you draw your one mana cards. So it's usually the best time to draw to draw those. That's pretty great. Do not stand in my way. I have my orders. Oh, that's pretty great. Well, it's still going to be up to them. <laughs> Three one mana cards in a row? Come on. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Now it's basically just Noxion Fervor. We fight for one Freljord. Pretty good the last three turns drawing three one mana cards. Death itself can't stop me! You're so close. Choo Choo, thanks for that resub. You are amazing. Impossible. Thank you so much. That's actually our second sub today? Did I not? Yeah, I didn't update that earlier. Choo Choo and Choo Choo. Well, our meme tier deck almost won one in ranked. Too many Withering Whales. Too many Withering Whales. And talk about that one Unspeakable Horror being amazing. So that one Unspeakable Horror turned into a 2-1 uh, that also, you know, so the, the Unspeakable Horror was a 2-1 that was also a 3-4. They got to do some stuff. Then the 3-4 made a 0-mana 2-1 Challenger that you know, made me use a Transfusion, challenging a, a um, spray fin. All of that from the Unspeakable Horror. So yeah, this deck's pretty decent. Uh, I can play some quick games to to rank up. Also, if you if you're on like a lower ranks, so want to play something fun, um, want to play some city breakers and just sit back and burn. Yeah, burn burn's just pretty good. <laughs> yeah, burn's just just good. And so just getting getting the enemy nexus damage in is going to be very good. Uh, try it when it whenever it's turn like eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like those turns, just try not to just draw that. That be the the point when you start drawing all of your one mana cards. That's what we did. It did not work out. Uh, don't do that. Um, yeah, overall, very nice deck. Uh, those of y'all watching, yeah, like when it gets to those turns, draw your Leviathan instead. <laughs> you know, if we, one of those last few turns, we would have drawn like Jack, Rex, Leviathan. That would have been a lot better. Uh, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, right cameras over here. Feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, you know, any comments about this? What do you want to see uh, later on Meme Tier Monday? Um, you know, anything at all, I would appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.